fill her up, but with Miller. Don't. Because I'm about to fill you up no, that's gross. with my stories. Oh, that's please disgusting. Don't. What's disgusting about it? My first year of law school, I made an important discovery. Look left, look right. Next year, one of you will be gone. What a cliche, huh? Oh, you wrote that down. You'll be gone. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be right here. Take it easy, God, am I right? I discovered that I hated being around these people. But second year, I made another discovery. I hated being around myself. So my third year, I wanted to find a place where I belonged, where I could look to my left or look to my right and like what I saw. Love you in that scarf. Why do you wear scarves anymore? That place? Perhaps you guessed it. This very bar. Don't get out of town. What a twist. How long has that guy been here? Kevin 97? Since 1997, Just Why else do you think we would call him? I don't know, move it along, Miller. True, I wasn't loving law school, but my grades were fine, and I even signed up for the California State Bar. And then one day, Red overserved himself, and everything changed. So you walked by in the bar, quit law school, you became a bartender. And there's more to it than that. Two minutes! Hey. Hey. Sorry I didn't let you finish your story. What's this? The end of my story. No way. You passed the bar exam? I wanted to prove to myself that I dropped out of law school because I wanted to be a bartender, not because I couldn't be a lawyer. This also says spaghetti sandwich. That's just because it's a great idea when I have a great idea right time. <laughs> the point is, is I want this. You know, it makes me happy. Here. Now, can I get you a drink? Sure. Sure. Cheers to unemployment. Absolutely.